biggest stars of African music, Papa Wemba, has died after collapsing on stage in Ivory Coast. The Congolese singer was 66 years old. His pioneering blend of African, Cuban and Western influences became one of Africa's most popular music styles. He had also toured around the world and recorded with British artist Peter Gabriel. This is how some people in the Democratic Republic of Congo reacted to his death. Ce monsieur, c'est un conne de, de la musique congolaise. C'est un modèle et tout, tout. Il a formé, il avait une école et tout et tout. C'est euh, une perte pour euh, 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 la culture congolaise. Souvent, moi, je suis fanatique de Papa Wemba depuis mon enfance. Et j'avais même beaucoup Papa Wemba. Sa façon de chanter, sa façon de faster, sur tout ce qu'il fait. Je suis son fanatique. En plus, euh, je suis tellement éprouvé parce qu'on m'a en fait de m'informer ce matin si que papa Oima a décédé, je suis un peu très... slash circus music which is the heartbeat of uh, Zaire or Congolese music and basically he's been one of the people who managed to push the boundaries for Congolese music and take it across the world I mean the first music I remember listening to as a child I was from Kenya the first music I heard was from Congo and Papa Wembo is definitely one of the records my dad had in his collection what was it about his music that was such a draw for his listeners? I think it was uh, really organic and he connected and he told stories about exactly what was going on in his life. I mean, when we were sent to prison, he came out, he sang about that. It was just a reflection of things you'd never see or hear about from the Congo. And just uh, how he dressed, you know, it's one of those things you'd be like, wow, Congolese men dress like that. It was just, he was just that kind of person. But he was controversial as well, wasn't he? He made the headlines on and off stage. 